my next question. Uh, I think uh, Kotak has been into the social and digital space for now more than two years now. Uh, no, I think it's been longer than that. Our first uh, social experiment. Digital, of course, we've been from the beginning. So yeah, social even experiment. if I say just uh, the website, yeah. we've made over how we thought about websites really long ago. But let's be let's talk about more recent stuff and uh, talk about uh, our journey in social. So like most marketeers, I was like a deer in the headlights when all the social stuff started. And we were unsure of which way to go on this. There was this various things were being sold saying you must get likes and that's a good thing and so on and so forth and everyone knows how that journey has evolved over the last few years but what we did as our first experiment to say that we will not burn our company's money mindlessly behind the latest fad but we should not sit out on this as well just because we don't know what's going on so we built in-house our own version of a Facebook for employees alone on the occasion of our 25th anniversary so we actually generated the ground up obviously with the help of partners and so on something that looked like Facebook, but it was meant for employees. So until then, the only employee connecting tool we had was this really clunky thing that everyone calls the intranet, which nobody uses. So we built this thing as a human proxy for the intranet, saying connect here, share your ideas, thoughts, hobbies, and talk about how wonderful it is to be in Kota or not, whatever it is, share. And I'm very happy to say that in that three month experiment in 2010, within the first three weeks, one third of Kota was on that very, very clunky Facebook. So we had a very bare bones, stripped down naturally. We are not uh, Facebook. So we built a very basic thing. But even that energized the firm. Everyone was sharing stories about In fact, one of the most popular pages was how I got recruited by Kotak. Because everyone has a very interesting story about their recruitment to Kotak because we are not typical recruiters. We frequently recruit people just because we've been going on the local train to and from our homes to their office locations. So they're really cool stories. So that was our first experiment. Uh, going on from there, the next sort of big thing we did was we did a road trip. So we put two boys on a motorcycle, labeled it Kotak and all that. Started in Chandigarh, ended in Bangalore, about 3,500 kilometers, if I remember correctly. The agenda of the road trip was to learn how the meaning of money has changed for people in this country in this modern age. And these boys would stop in every village, at every dhaba, in every school along the way, pull out their uh, little handy cams or phone cameras or whatever, record people's expressions, their own uh, thoughts about the meaning of money having changed in their lives, small videos, reach some hotel in the night, upload. There was this promise that there was 3G all over the country then, I think it was 2011. Uh, many places we found that uh, 3G care, there was no G at all. <laughs> so we ended up dumping onto uh, pen drives and then couriering it back to Bombay, okay. but uploading and then building a nice social ecosystem around. So there was a YouTube piece, there was a Facebook piece, there was a microsite, there was tweeting, there was blogging. During that journey of two weeks, where these boys did this trip from Chandigarh to uh, Bangalore, we grew 10 times in our Facebook fans. And that looked very exciting and heartening and so on. But of course, after looking at the data a little harder, we discovered that the bulk of the fan base was 18 to 24. And uh, we quickly made up our minds that we were not interested in that so much. Of course, we're interested in people who are 18 to 24. But if that's how the typical Facebook behavior is or the typical social media behavior is, then we said we want to graduate or uh, nuance that a little more. Because we are more interested in people who are going to be relevant to us as customers, who we can serve and we can use tools like social media to enhance the quality and the content and the meaning of that service. So over the last few years, our journey in social really has been primarily about looking for our customers on social media, recruiting them to become our followers on social media so we can serve them better. For example, I think one of our most successful experiments has been on Twitter, which we used originally primarily for customer service, not as a marketing tool. I built it as in my team built it, uh, but we built it to be able to serve the customer. So we know today that the uh, typical customer who's social media savvy, when she has a problem, even if it's not an irate customer who's complaining, even if she has a small problem, her instinct now, rather than to pick up the phone and to look for my phone number and dial, is to quickly tweet out 140 characters in the hope that someone in Kota yes, yeah. is looking and will respond. Right. And we have no choice. We will do it. We have to do it. So we are doing it. And I'm happy to say that every now and then, over the last three years, Customers have tweeted back after we've addressed them, saying that so-and-so telco should learn something from you, or so-and-so bank 
Think big private bank should learn something from you. <laughs> so the occasional uh, compliment does keep us uh, enthused and charged up about raising the bar on this constantly. And uh, again, job is far from done. Let me confess quickly, until very recently, until April this year, the Twitter help desk would work 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. Whereas my IVR and the call center was working 24-7. Right. So again, we, we knew that we realized at some point that we needed a mindset shift. That someone tweeting, someone going on Facebook and posting a complaint, someone writing me an email is identical to someone picking up the phone and talking to me at midnight or walking into an ATM and reaching me on the hotline at midnight or past that. So our behavior has to change to address that. So we have changed. I'm happy to report that now we are 24-7 on all social media as well. And our turnaround times aren't bad. They're not perfect. Let me confess again, but they're not bad. So it's been a reasonably interesting journey.